Welcome to this Love Sub and Short episode. And in these short episodes, we talk about things like science or maybe just a quick little blurb, two to three minutes to help you with some RV information. And if you've been onto the RV forums, you know that tire pressures are one of the big things that everybody gets all up in arms about and debates and et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna apply some science to that. We're gonna talk about Gay-Lussac's gas law. And Gay-Lussac's gas law states that in a given volume, as temperature increases, pressure increases, and as temperature decreases, pressure decreases. So we're gonna go ahead and check our temperature, check our pressure right now, it's kinda of warm outside, and then we're gonna come back in a few hours when it's cold, and we're gonna see what that pressure is based upon the changing temperature. So let's go ahead and get the temperature first. So that tire is reading about 100, 0.4 degrees. Let's get its pressure. Sixty-five pounds. So at hundred degrees, sixty-five pounds. And remember, that's the cold inflation pressure. This tire has not rotated at all. It's been sitting here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and check once it cools down a little bit. See how this goes. Love science. All right. As you can see. It is the next morning. Things have cooled off quite a bit. Let's go ahead and recheck our pressures and see what we've got. Temperature of the tire right now is 77 degrees. And we're at 61 PSI. So that 20 degree temperature difference, 23 degrees resulted in a four degree drop entire pressure so there's a uh, gay lussac's law where do you set your pressures at only you can make that decision but i set mine somewhere right around 60 to 65 so we're good to go for our tow this afternoon so what does this really mean it just means to say when you go to check your cold inflation pressure i once asked that question what is a cold inflation pressure and i got completely the wrong answer from folks but i basically say I try and set my pressure at 68 degrees because if you think about it, if you're losing two pounds of PSI for every 10 degree temperature, which is what the Goodyear website says, if you check your pressures on a real cold morning, like 40 degrees and think, wow, I'm low, and you fill them up and then you do nothing and the temperature goes up to 70 degrees that day, you could actually be overpressured. So um, it's just something to consider as you go ahead and check out your tire temperatures and pressures. So I hope you enjoyed this Love Sub and Short. If you enjoyed this video, definitely click the subscribe and check out some of our other longer videos, our travel videos, and some of our science videos. Thanks for watching.